Hi there and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me along my journey so far and if you're new to the channel then please make sure you hit the bell notification and the subscription button right now so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Well now, on to the show. Well here we go, time for another review and I figured why not review another whiskey from one of my favorite Australian distilleries. So for those of you who have been following me for a while now, you would pretty much be able to already tell that this is going to be a Starwood whiskey review. Obviously you would have already been able to tell that from the thumbnail as well. But here we go. Today I am going to be reviewing the Batch 2 Tawny release from Starwood. Now, Starwood is obviously an Australian distillery. They are located in Melbourne, Victoria. This is the Tawny Batch 2. So, bottled at 48% ABV, uh, filled in 2015, bottled in 2022. Now, I don't know whether this has actually reached a full seven years of age, but we can obviously assume that it is at least six years old, which for Australian whiskey standards, that is, uh, that's pretty old. So great job again, Starwood for, I guess, being able to put out a, um, a much more mature Australian whiskey. So uh, let's get started. I shall pour a bit into the glass. There we go. Now this has been fully matured in tawny casks, which is uh, Australian port. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have all the information about the actual cast types that have been used for this. Um, I know that there a few different varieties of casts have been used, so I will put that information in the description box down below. So if you are interested in learning about the different um, types of casts that this whiskey has spent its time in, um, you'll be able to get that information down below. Um, but for now, on re the review and let's see what we get. So, cheers. On the nose. Oh, okay, so the nose is rich and inviting. Sweet and fruity with a nice hint of spice coming through as well. You do get that typical Starwood banana note. Orchard fruits coming in, apples, pears, it's also quite citric. I'm getting quite a bit of uh, like lemon rind coming in as well. Also more of like a crushed lemon leaf as well. So I don't know if any of you are familiar with the scent of a crushed lemon leaf, but uh, yeah, definitely that lemon leaf. It's actually kind of reminding me of having tea at my grandparents' house where I would actually go and pick a leaf off the, the lemon tree, crush it and put it into the into my teacup just to like infuse into the tea a little bit so you've got these like earthy tea notes coming out as well stone fruits apricots peaches brown sugar quite oaky as well but without being too over like over dominant cinnamon cloves white pepper a little bit nutty as well peanuts cashews the nose is quite tropical as well. Very, uh, very typical of the standard Starwood core range, but you have that really nice tawny influence that, um, that comes through. So this is definitely a Starwood DNA, but with that extra, that extra oomph behind coming in from those casks. All right, let's move on to the, the palette. I could just keep going on with the nose, it just keeps opening up and evolving, but time to time to move on. So let's see what we get for the palate. Cheers. Thick, syrupy, and oaky. The oak influence is stunning. You get this really nice white pepper influence coming in. Uh, I can't remember at all about the type of oak that has been used with this, but considering the amount of pepper, it is quite characteristic of a French oak cask but I could be mistaken this I guess just could also be a very peppery uh, like typical American oak or European oak cask as well lots of vanilla lots of caramel again those 
those baking spices are coming through so again the cinnamon nutmeg cloves rich fruits apricots sultanas figs all those like really nice sweet dried fruits are all there your typical like tawny port characteristic it's got it and more this is a really perfect example of a good quality tawny matured whiskey it is absolutely stunning the batch one was amazing and i have to say that this is just as good in its own way uh, from my own memory i mean it was a while ago now since i had last tried the the batch one i do remember the batch one being a little bit more thicker a little bit more syrupy in the mouthfeel but i have to say the again the overall experience and the flavor of this release is just as good as batch one um, this is an absolutely incredible whiskey moving along to the finish again more of those uh, that citric note is coming through again so i am getting more of that um, that lemon leaf vibe coming along uh, more vanilla caramel again the the brown sugar is coming through again touch of apricot so a lot of the notes that you would pick up say from the nose and the palate again follow through on the follow through on the finish as well so it doesn't have all that much of a change but the overall balance of the whiskey itself is absolutely incredible this is a very enjoyable very sessionable whiskey it is absolutely fantastic um, starwood have done an amazing job on this now one other thing that i would like to point out before i finish this video was that when the batch one was released it was actually uh, one it was a 500 ml bottle i think it went for about 150 dollars as well and obviously it was a it was a much more smaller limited release the batch two however 700 ml bottle older whiskey same price point i have to say it's an excellent value for money whiskey it really is i mean you i mean the fact as well that we're getting an older whiskey in a 700 ml bottle which is quite rare for an australian whiskey is just a it's absolutely fantastic it's good to see starwood going in that direction i mean it does help that obviously this release had a, a larger quantity of whiskey available to do um, larger size bottles but again it's good to see there are a lot of Aussies out there that do kind of give a lot of crap towards a lot of the Australian distilleries for doing the 500 mil bottles so it's good to see that Starwood is listening to their to their followers and being able to put out their their product in the 700 mil bottles giving us a little bit extra because I mean too much whiskey is never a bad thing so that's it uh, i hope you enjoyed the review if you are able to find this out in the wild or wherever you may be definitely pick up a bottle it is absolutely fantastic i know you will enjoy it um, this has been a very popular release from starwood and i hope that in the future we will see more more batches of this available so fingers crossed yeah that's it my name is Andrew. I will see you all again on the next video. Get this. Oh, you're still here. Well, why not consider continuing on with some more content and subscribing? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.